So recently I went on an adventure to Borneo with my best friend Caroline. This is the first of two videos. In this video we go to see the orangutans in a sanctuary called Sepalog. They're actually orangutans that have been uh, rescued from the wild and they're being rehabilitated and then put back into the wild. And then we also go and see the uh, Probothus monkeys which are incredible with their really big noses. But without further ado, let's crack on so I can tell you the story of our Borneo adventures. So we're here at the Sepalot Rehabilitation Centre for the orangutans and this is the first time that we're going in here so it's really exciting. I think they have about 40 odd um, orangutans, maybe up to 50 here at the moment and what they do is they quite often have to bring them in as orphaned young orangutans that perhaps their mothers have been killed out in the jungle. They have to quarantine them for a short amount of time just to, to make sure that they don't have any diseases that they can then pass on to the other orangutans and also they want to make sure they can help them do things like learn how to forage for food, make nests, some of them have to learn how to climb properly because they're so young they haven't learned this from their own mothers and when they've been in the centre for long enough they actually um, release them back into the wild so they don't stay here for, forever so it's true conservation, true rehabilitation which is really exciting. So we're now going inside and we're going to go and see um, the, one of the feeding stations that they've got for some of the older um, orangutans so we'll show you what it looks like when we get inside. Um, the keepers aren't out yet, so the orangutans haven't come to feed. We're just waiting for them to come out. It's really, really hot in here, so we are um, sweating a lot, but um, it's worth it. Uh, I've never seen orangutans in the wild before, so this is my first time. I'm really looking forward to it. So we're just waiting on viewing platform B to see some proboscis monkeys which are being called for their lunch. And we have sustenance too. The gift shop sells fake Oreo. It made us very happy. Okay, so we're now on platform A. So the guy's got the call and got the memo and said come over here. And uh, the boys came out on force, and uh, here they are. And apparently, the bigger the nose, the more important they are, and the more mobile they are. So the first thing that um, we noticed when we got in there was how amazing the sounds were. Because obviously it was, it was dark, so there's limited vision. Um, but they but actually the, echo off the trees. Yeah, particularly at night, it's just it's incredible. And we just wanted to share with you some of our favourite animals, because they're 
<laughs> there were some incredible nocturnal animals, so my favourite had to be the hammerhead worm. Like seriously, I'm not even joking. It looked like a hammerhead shark, but it was a worm. Like, I didn't even know that existed. That's <laughs> And my other favourite one was the pygmy squirrel. It's like you, like scuttling along yeah. the um, walkway. It's like you, it's like you. And what were your favourites? Yeah. So my favourites were a viper. We saw three of those curled up in a tree. And they're very well camouflaged, so they're, they're green and they're in amongst the leaves. Um, but our guide managed to spot them because they have white bellies underneath. So by, by the light of his torch, he was able to, um, to see where they were. And the other favourite that I had was scorpions. <laughs> so there were hundreds of those. And they just live in little cracks in the wood. We were able to tempt them out with a little twig and see them grab hold of it. But they're afraid of light, so we had to like tease them. Like show the light, take the light away. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. So yeah, next we are uh, next adventure is off to Langkian Island, which is on the east coast of Borneo, and we'll be there for a couple of days, and we're really, really hoping to see turtles. Whether that's turtles laying eggs or hatching or seeing them in the sea and feasting rays and the sharks, you know that kind of stuff. So fingers crossed, everybody. Yay.